I've been using vidIQ for a long time now and I've figured out all of the tools that you need to use to get the most out of the service and which ones really aren't worth your time. These are my top five tips for using vidIQ to its fullest so that you can grow your audience as quickly as possible. The first tool that you're not using enough is vidIQ's channel audit page. This is found in the extension so you access it by clicking the little menu on the upper right while you're on YouTube and it gives you a pop-up window. YouTube analytics are really important when it comes to creating content that your audience enjoys and realizing what's gonna keep them watching. But while YouTube's analytics page has come a long way in the past couple years, it's still a little bit confusing, convoluted, and can take a while to find the stats and go over all the things that you need to know. The channel audit page basically takes all of the best information found in YouTube Studio and puts it together in a nice, easy to understand UI. I like to look at my stats and insights from the past 30 days. This is sort of a long enough period of time to have enough data to look at, but also recent and current enough that you have all of the current trend data. The big categories that you really want to look at here are your views per hour, where you can see what videos are performing best for you right now, and the average watch time and top retention stats, where you can see which of your previous videos have kept people watching the longest. These are the videos that are really providing a lot of value to your audience, so you can't go wrong by studying these and implementing some of the strongest points of them in your upcoming or next videos. Finally, scroll all the way down to the bottom and check out best practices. Any categories in red are things that you can improve on. The awesome thing is that if you click on them, they will directly link you to any problem video so that you can fix the issues. It looks like I forgot to put some videos in playlists, so if I click here, it'll show me which ones need to be fixed, and I can just go ahead and do that. The channel audit is a great tool. Don't sleep on it, especially if you're not a fan of analytics. This is gonna save you a lot of time and frustration. So it's an awesome feature, but it's not the best one. Number two brings us back to the vidIQ dashboard, and that is their video idea generation tool. Generally, every couple of weeks, I'll have a whole session where I sit down and I just brainstorm video ideas and schedule them out for the next month or two. Sometimes I do this and I come away with absolutely nothing. This idea generation tool is the first place I go when I have run out of ideas. By linking to your channel, checking out the type of content you create, and analyzing current trends on YouTube, vidIQ produces video ideas that might perform well for your type of content and then puts them all right here. Not all of these ideas are gonna be spot on, but they always kind of serve to get the wheel rolling in my head. And sometimes that's really all I need to break out of a creative rut. This will work more or less for different types of channels. Since I'm a review channel, a lot of the concepts that vidIQ can come up with are not exactly the sort of video that I can execute. But if you're sort of a tutorial advice or lifestyle channel, sort of entertainment style channel, this tool is going to be gold. It's awesome, but I still don't think it's the best tool. In the age of AI, faceless YouTube channels have just exploded, and we've seen some creators generate tens of millions of dollars completely from AI-generated content. If this is the type of YouTube that you're interested in learning, vidIQ has hands down the most powerful tool for creating these type of videos. On their website, you can take one of those generated video ideas we mentioned before and enter it into to their generation tool. From here, it will give you a title, description, tags, script, even a thumbnail. They also generate an AI voiceover version of the script, but honestly, it sounds really awful. So instead of using this, I recommend you go over to Artlist. Artlist is today's video sponsor, and they've just released this insane new text-to-speech AI voiceover tool. It's, I just, I gotta show you. Once you have your script, simply paste it into Artlist's text box, and then you can choose from 35 different voice to read it, and they just keep adding more. These are by far the most impressive and natural sounding text-to-speech voices I have ever heard. Whether you want an authentic, natural voice for films and commercials, or you want something powerful and exciting to sell your product and hype up your fans, Artlist has a voice for that. You can even adjust things like the emotion, voice change, and style of the voiceover using their voice settings. But that's not all Artlist does. They also have an amazing library of music, sound effects, stock footage, templates, and plugins all in one place. Everything is professional quality, and with Artlist Max, everything is cleared not only for 
YouTube productions like this, but also for client work. And it's all included under one super simple license, which means less time jumping between sites and more time editing your awesome new projects. I've got a link down in my description for you to check it out. This voiceover feature is just the icing on the cake when it comes to Artlist, and it works perfectly in tandem with vidIQ's generation tool. Basically, when you combine these two sites together, you have the power to create an amazing video without ever leaving your computer. It's insane. Speaking of AI, my fourth tip for getting the most out of vidIQ is to pay attention to your optimization score when you're uploading a new video to YouTube. Over here on the right of your upload screen, you'll see an optimize tab. Ranking your SEO out of 100, this feature gives you the best practices to follow to get as much YouTube traffic as possible. Some of these items are just good things to have squared away with every new YouTube video. Things like adding it to a playlist or adding chapters to your description. And this tab is simply a nice reminder of these kind of low priority things. Combining these best practices with their tag tool makes uploading go so much quicker. But the big aid comes in the form of the high priority section of the optimized score, which uses AI to analyze your title. We've all been there, spending a ton of time trying to come up with the best title for your new video, only to come away with a total dud. This AI tool takes the title that you put into YouTube and checks to see if it's clear, emotional, and the right length. The title of your video is by far the most important driver of click-through rate and SEO, so getting this right is incredibly important. Now, the AI isn't always correct in assessing your title. You gotta remember that it's still AI. So especially on things like the easy to understand checkpoint, I trust myself over the machine. But it's still a useful tool because it makes me think a lot more about my title and it'll catch some things that I didn't really think about before. That said, it's still not the most powerful tool that vidIQ provides. That crown belongs to the tried and true keyword research tool. No good video starts with a bad idea. The good news is with vidIQ, you don't have to rely on luck to come up with a topic that's going to engage your viewers. vidIQ's keyword research tool is my go-to judge of all of my video topics. Once I come up with a concept, I'll think of the main keyword that relates to the concept of the video. So for this one, it was how to use vidIQ. Then I run that keyword through their keyword inspector. The inspector returns a score based on the search volume for that term weighed against the amount of videos already posted that will be competing against you for that view. The higher traffic and the lower the competition, the better the score. As a general rule, I only like to greenlight video ideas that have a keyword score of over 65. We want our scores to qualify for a senior discount. I actually go a lot deeper into this tool in a dedicated video, which if you're interested in checking out and getting a lot more information about how to use this to its fullest potential, you can watch that video right up over there. And I recommend you do.